Fundamentally, we think that people are interested in content and entertainment and things that add value to their lives. Um, often brands are producing exactly that. However, they're not producing that in context with what they do in a paid media environment. And so what we try to do is help brands take that kind of content that they know will connect with consumers if and when they see it and bring that kind of content into the paid media experience. So on a mobile device, as an example, um, a film studio might have a beautiful two and a half minute trailer that I might really like to watch. But mobile, it's not the right environment to run a two and a half minute ad. So they might have a 15 second spot, but if I'm really getting into the content, I ought to be able to tap to continue to watch that piece of content or perhaps learn more about the film or perhaps see what time it's playing tonight because I might like to see it. So in that way, we're enhancing what would otherwise simply be a 15 second ad and we're creating a more brand content experience to give them the chance to present more of what they have to consumers and for consumers to have the chance to go a little bit deeper with what they might want to see. I believe a common mistake is the obsession with the completion rate um, because in the digital environments, just because a video was completed doesn't mean it was actually watched or that the content was absorbed. Uh, similarly with viewability, just because an ad was viewable doesn't mean it was actually viewed. Uh, and so it's very easy to assume that consumers are paying full attention to something. So intuitively you say, on paper, all things being equal, if somebody saw my ad to completion, then an impact was made and that's a good thing. In practice, however, that's not actually what happens. Uh, and one thing that we try to help brands understand is that ultimately advertising is a means to an end. Your end goal is not have someone watch your ad. Your end goal is have someone love your brand and buy your products and tell other friends about it. So if we work backwards from the solution that you're really trying to achieve, uh, which is impact in some way, uh, if you could then optimize your campaign strategy, your creative strategy, your analytic strategy around that solution, not simply the, the means of seeing the ad, uh, then people start thinking more about um, impact of the advertising, the importance of creative, uh, the brand lift and purchase intent metrics, um, and things that are, are more engagement oriented than simply passive view oriented. Um, so we, we talk about that a lot and have uh, a lot of solves for that, um, but I'd say that's one of the common mistakes we see uh, that could really be improved upon. What I'm seeing is a massive opportunity to let go of the old business model of carriage fees and how uh, the, the big uh, broadcasters and networks get paid in a traditional sense. Um, if we can move on from that, and I know that's a big ask in the short term, but it is an incredibly exciting time to be a quality programmer with built-in audiences because what we're seeing is Though there's a ton of, of investment and desire to invest more in, in mobile and digital environments for video, um, the amount of quality inventory, quality content, quality context is still a little bit lacking. And so what the TV uh, guys and the, the traditional entertainment companies know how to do better than anyone um, is produce great content, uh, attract great talent. Um, if they can find better ways to distribute that at scale and attract audiences in digital and mobile environments, I think it's a massive opportunity for them. And we stop thinking about television as the business model of television, but maybe it's, it's just it's the screen or it's the content, but it's not the business model that we associate with television. Um, so, so we're seeing a big, a big move towards digital, but a desire to be more affiliated with TV style content. Um, and a big challenge there to, to make the most out of the investments that are coming into digital because of that fact.